All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with The Walking Dead. We are going to head straight into episode three, Long Road Ahead. This looks like this looks like this looks like this looks like it's going to be a very interesting episode. Uh, anything that involves a train, and I'm telling you, in movies and games, whatever, trains are always a big part. Something very dramatic happens. Um, I'm really excited. The last two episodes have been really good. I loved episode two, and we have three more in this game, so let's just jump straight into this third one. Previously on The Walking Dead. Yep. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. You've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore I won't forget that mm. no one's trying to cut you out of anything those look like the people who raided my Calm camp down, you're paranoid. fuck you mm. did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place that's right I know who you are and I know you're a killer he's not dead somebody help me come on we know this guy's not gonna make it no <laughs> mm. Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. You're right. We shouldn't take this. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Don't worry, little girl. Bandit's got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Hmm. That was a nice little recap. See, I'm actually so excited to like see what happens with this train thing, man. This game series adapts the choices you make. This story is tailored by how you play. All right. Back in the town. Episode 3, Long Road Ahead. Looks like this is our lucky day. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. They we don't, we never know. Surprise. Yeah, you never know, bro. Well, the less I see, the happier I am. Tim's tools. Yeah, yeah. We're right across the street from the pharmacy we were just at. Chill. Are we going to see freaking Doug's body by any chance? Never know. Oh, man. Lee, where do you come down on staying or going? You mean packing up the motel and getting in the RV? Yeah. We've been talking about it, but you made up your mind yet? You know, man, we should go. We should go. Motels run its course, and it's not safe. You're damn right it has. We pile into the RV and don't pull over till we see water. And if Lily's dead set on staying, then, well, that's the way it goes. Like, I know it's messed up, but, like, I, I really think back to the time when freaking Lily's dad left us for dead, and Kenny was the one who Just came like back to save our life, bro. Into the pharmacy and scrape together whatever supplies are left. Like, that's fire, bro. He's the one guy that did that. in there. We're out of options. Something's better than nothing. Also, it's less people, too. No Lily, no kid. Shit. You okay? The I ladders come loose. I feel bad for sure Carly. How many more trips she's got in her. But I'm not sure how many more uh, trips we've got in That's less people to worry about, is what I'm saying. No kidding. Alright. Take a look. Uh can we go past here? Let's just explore everything. Where did I look? By all the fallen concrete. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Let's check over here. Lily's not doing so good, huh? 
Well, we killed her dad. That's true. We did kill her dad. All right. I'm not moving, by the way. Like, like the game is doing this by itself. Okay. All right. Now that we did that. Maybe now we can... There we go. There we go. Your girl's still upset with me for taking stuff out of that car last week? I haven't asked. I haven't asked. Just gonna let it stew, huh? Perfect. Alright. Up. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. It was a scary situation for him. Yep. Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. Nah, man. Thank you, buddy. I'm sure you're up for this. Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Oh. Are you okay? Jesus. You okay? I'm fine. Shit. I'm sorry, pal. I thought it'd be healed up better. You're lucky it wasn't any worse. You could have. Uh oh. Don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. Yep. Nah, we gotta help her. We have to help her. How? There's no getting to her. We gotta do something. Please let me aim it with the sniper rifle. Oh, nope, never mind. That's it. She got bit. Gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. No, we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive and she draws them all to her, buying us time. Can't think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. Man, nah, dude. She's bit already. Nah, nah, leave her, man. Sorry. I can't I can't kill her. Yeah, I can't kill her. I feel terrible. Like, she got bit before we could do anything. Like, she's gonna turn, eventually. Feel bad, bro. That's terrible. That does... that, that sucks, man. We should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. Like, dude, she she literally got bit. If she didn't get bit, I I actually was just gonna like like save her. Just take everything. But I feel bad. She got bit. No matter what you do, no matter if you save her or not, she's gonna turn. Supplies, supplies, energy bar. Take that. Take that. Check in here. She's gone. There's not much time now. Medicine box. Energy bar. Yep. Take all that food. Supplies. Supplies. Medicine box. Take everything. Take everything. Supplies. Medicine. Medicine. Man, if we could take, a, like, everything, that'd be great. Nothing here. Nothing here. That's it, that's it, that's it. Alright, alright, we can't do much. Yeah. 
Yeah, all right. We just collected everything. Incoming. Come on, Lee. Up and over. We're still clear. Let's hustle. Run, 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 run. There we go. Knock him down. There we go. Hmm. Run, go. Get out. Let's, Let's go. go. Yep. Let's get out of this place. Yeah, I was about to say, let's let's just get out of there. some stickers in a drawer and I put them on my walkie that's nice hey, sweet pea. that's neat I'll find you in a minute hmm Lily yeah looks like we got the kid on watch again what'd you get we might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone come and rape our women and children huh hmm so, what did you get? Mm, what was Just left? What was left? Which was a lot, actually. Take a look. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here. This piling into an RV with you two, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the we wall. We best for the kids. That's game. not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. We do whatever is best for the kids. Yep. Doesn't that make sense? It's suicide out there. We'll die in here. You're right. Yeah. You could see someone sleeping and kill one of us. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly? Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. And don't start with me, either. Stop and this. we're all losing it with the attacks and lack of food. Everything can't come down to the same disagreement. Lily, Kenny's got some legit points here. Yeah. I'm so tired of it being you two versus Damn me. Damn it. I'm not on anyone's side, Lily. These decisions affect everyone. You gotta keep moving in survival, bro. What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. Yep. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. That's BS, Kenny. And you... We deal with shit as it comes, just yeah. like we always do. Yes, exactly. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? What then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? We got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. You just let her suffer like what? Like bait? Oh God, what is happening? You weren't out there. You guys couldn't try to save her? Don't take that tone with She was him. bit. It's the first smart thing he's done in a while. Glad to know you think being a killer is smart. Hey, if you don't agree with it, then we'll take everything we got in these bags and put it in a pile. No, of she was dead anyway. No she literally was. She was dead anyway. Use everything else. She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. 
We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming this way. It's not going to be easier out on the road. How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Mm. Now everybody get out. Hmm. She'll get over it. Yeah. She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. She's right about one thing. None of this is getting any easier. Oh, things are coming to a head. Yeah. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. Mm -hmm. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. Okay. All right. I think we're getting in real deep there, guys. I think uh, she's she's uh, she's feeling Lee. That's Lily's door. Kind of, all right, I could walk around. Dude, let me just talk. I actually, mm, no, nah, let's just talk to Carly now. Why not? Let's head up these stairs. Talk to Lily yet? Or, oh, I said Lily, dear. Carly. Oh, well. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. Hmm. What about? What about? You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. Yeah. You're probably right. Of course I'm probably right. People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? Yeah. I'll let the people I'll that I trust know. Them. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. Loki, because at some point, like, like... You'll thank me later. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? I think people are really ready. think people are ready to hear about me? Yeah. It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now it doesn't seem like one of them. But everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor in a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. <laughs> I don't know. This place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. Yeah, man. You gotta keep moving, dude. You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her. That's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. All right. All right, let's have a talk with Kenny and, um, Kat. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's got to be. I know, yeah. but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee?
Yeah, Kenny, you got a second? Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Sure, pal. What you got? I trust Kenny. First person I'm telling. It's serious. Oh, no. What'd the she-devil do to you? Shut up, man. I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. Mm-hmm. No shit. No shit. It wasn't for touching kids, was it? Oh, man, mm -hmm. come on, man. What? I gotta ask. No. I killed a guy in a fight. Hmm. Hmm. You must have been a real piece of shit if you had to haul off and kill him. So we're straight then. Lee, look at everything this mess has got us doing now. I'm sorry you went through whatever you went through. Yeah, we're straight. All right. Okay. Oh, do I do I tell Cat? Uh, let's let's think, guys. Do I do I tell? I tell Cat. Do I tell Cat? Do I tell Cat? Uh, I mean, we did save, we did save their son's life, bro. I'm having a hard time thinking about this. See, I'm thinking, like, do I tell Lily first? Nah, you know what? I am going to tell Kat. You got to get close to her. Hi, guys. Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? Yep, he knows too. Yep. Yeah, I'm telling her. Screw it. I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. You've always looked at me with kind eyes. I mm -hmm. wonder if you could still do that if you, uh, knew I was a convicted felon. My goodness, for what? How much trouble can a teacher get into? Well, plenty. But it had nothing to do with that. It was for murder. Why? He and my wife. Uh, That's were... enough. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. Yep. I held Lily back, and Kenny made sure Larry didn't get up. What did he do? Mm. He smashed his head in. <gasps> Uh, did, uh, uh, gotcha. Everything keeps changing. Yeah. I feel so bad because it's like, bro, I think Katja is probably like, like a very like like caring character, dude. Like she's a sweet woman. I, I has been throughout the entire game. That's why I'm saying like I think it's important that I tell her. You know what, man? Nah, I ain't even gonna I ain't even gonna bother that kid. I'm gonna keep it real. Um, huh? Where's Clementine and Duck? Oh, in the RV sleeping or something. All right. Nope. Whoops. All right. Nope. I'm definitely gonna go tell Lily. Lily already knows we freaking me and Kenny like made that decision with her with her pops, but I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I don't know. Look, you can take whatever this is and I, I need your help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. Mm. He or she or they have been taking things. Oh. For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. Lily? counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck. I feel, like, with I feel like she's a type to not, like, I lie. I count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? 
I found this tossed into the garbage. Hmm. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Hmm. I'll okay. Uh, I'll poke yeah, around yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, I'll check. I'll check for you. Thank you. If you don't find anything, I'm just going to assume it's you. Oh, damn. A mystery. Jesus. Oh, Duck. no. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson. You're wood. Ooh. Nightwing? All right, That's cool. Robin. I know who it is. That's Robin at the beginning, but it ends up being Nightwing. Okay. You can't help. And if you tell anybody, it will be trouble. Yes. Secrecy. Yep, thank you. Did you hear what I just said? I won't tell a soul. The part about not helping? You can't help. I will live in the shadows. That's not good. Alright, looks like Duck is going to help you anyway. Yep, I kind of figured that. Alright. Uh, let's just have a conversation with this guy. You guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. Yeah. Do you guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I mm. saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. Oh, okay. I forgot, though. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. But we need them. There's no doubt about that. You need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. Hmm. I'll talk to you later. Alright. So that's... That's them. Uh, yeah, let's go back up and have a conversation with Carly real quick. Let's see. Do you know anything about this flashlight? It's broken. I know it's broken. And the batteries might be in backwards. It uses just one. Everything should. What was the question? Did you break the flashlight? No. Okay. I uh, talked to mm. Kenny about who I am. And? He was cool. He just worries about his family. That wasn't so hard, was it, tough guy? I talked to Katja. How'd she take it? She was fine, I guess. I think she's more upset about Kenny. Because of the St. John's? What exactly did he do back there? Well, don't you start now. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. All right. All right. All right, we got to talk to this kid. We have not said a single word to this guy. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Mm, I'm not going to tell you that. Uh... Did you ever come down here to making much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. I grew up in Macon. Oh, I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. <laughs> it's super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is... A flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, Got word and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. All okay, right. then. Yep, all right. What do you think about Lily? Yep. She scares the crap out of me. 
That's a reasonable thing to feel. Yep, exactly. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. All right. Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. All right. Let's go check out this area right here. Yeah, man. Duck. A clue. Maybe. What do you think it is? All right, he's I not. I told you you couldn't help. I'm curious. All right, he's not gonna I'm listen sorry. to us. He, he's, Maybe yeah. it's a sign. He's not gonna listen to us. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. All right, duck. Go talk to her. Wait, where did we just see her? It's across here, right? There we go. You know, I'm going to tell hey, Clementine. I'm going to be honest about hey, that. Clem. I need to talk to you for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okie dokie. The day you and I met, I was in a car accident. I remember. Your leg was bleeding. The car I was in was a police car, and I was on my way to jail for committing a crime. I need to tell you now, because I don't want you to hear it any other way. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you have anything to say? I don't think so. You can, uh... Go on back to your things. Okay. Okay. I said, see that? Yeah, Clementine, though. Clementine's such an awesome character. Uh. Do uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Okay. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst, me. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? So Ooh. rude. Okay. I was calling the scene for clues. Yeah, and... duck. I got it. Good job. <laughs> Alright, thank you, buddy. There we go. Cool. He thinks we're incredibly awesome. I like that. Nice superhero style. I love it, bro. There it is. Too. I suppose I should go out there and look around. Mm. Stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. Uh. You didn't me. break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No. Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. Yes. All right. Let me take a look outside. Um, okay, so let's see, so pink chalk, arrows. <gasps> oh, there's a private bag. It's a bag of something. Dude. 